Welcome to Grand Prairie Update. I'm Terry Briggs. And I'm Don Johnson. Here's what's happening in your city. It's officially the start of mosquito season in Grand Prairie, where a sample has tested positive for West Nile virus. Officials report the mosquito was trapped in a neighborhood south of Interstate 20. The city plans to ground spray that area for two consecutive nights, starting at 9 p.m., weather permitting. This is the earliest the city has needed to spray, and it could mean a very active year for mosquitoes. We were expecting to see uh, more activity due to the uh, very warm winter. And of course, we're in April, we have the April showers, and so the overnight temperatures have allowed um, a lot of activities from mosquitoes. Last year, Grand Prairie had four human cases of West Nile, along with 58 mosquito samples that tested positive for that disease. There were three travel-related cases of Zika virus and one case of Chick V. Officials say it's important that residents do their part to fight the bite by following these tips. Get rid of standing water around your home. Use mosquito spray with DEET when you're outdoors day or night. Wear long sleeves and pants when you're outdoors. And avoid being outside at dusk or dawn when mosquitoes are most active. In years past, we only worried about dusk and dawn, or that's when we told people to protect themselves. And now, with the onset of Zika and Chick V viruses, it's really become an all day, every day type of situation. To get more information and to stay up to date during mosquito season, visit gptx.org slash fight the bite. What a beautiful night to ride. Beautiful. It's a new day and a new time for a new season of Cycling with the Mayor in Grand Prairie. Mayor Ron Jensen's bicycling series hit the trails for the first time on a Tuesday evening and kicked off another season for the program he initiated three years ago to bring people of all ages together to enjoy scenic rides in the city and to promote fitness and fellowship. I had a lot of churchgoers say, hey, Wednesday nights, that's our church night, and uh, not all of them can ride, but if we can get a few more of them to ride on Tuesday nights, so that's the reason we set it for Tuesday night. And then staff talked to me, said, let's arrive at 6, but give people to 6.30 to get here, because it's just a rush for people getting off work, getting home, and getting out here. And we have plenty of sunshine to do it from 6.30, and maybe it'd be a little cooler in the evening. So that's the two reasons. The first of seven rides scheduled for 2017 drew a big group to a course that includes the Good Link Trail, connecting C.P. Wagner Park and Mike Lewis Park on Grand Prairie's north side. It's the first of six Tuesday evening rides that will take place all over the city from April to October, leading up to the final ride of the season through Prairie Lights at Lynn Creek Park on a Monday night in late November. Now really this year want to focus a lot on the trails we have. Goodness, there are so many places you can go that are off the streets that you can bring your kids and feel safe. So we're going to do a lot of trail system, not on the streets. So that's what we'll be doing this year. Come on, get back, ride. Ride. Come join us. The next Cycling with the Mayor ride will be Tuesday, May 23rd, starting at Lone Star Park. For more information, go to gptx.org or grandfondgp.com. Time is running out to vote early in the May 6th Grand Prairie City election. On the ballot are three council seats and a sales tax referendum. In District 1, incumbent Georgia Clemson is running unopposed for another three-year term. In District 3, incumbent Lila Thorne is seeking another three-year term against Mike Delboski. And in District 7, there is a four-way race between incumbent Jeff Copeland, Kevin C. Toth, Aurelio Castillo and Wayne Ellis. Voters will also be asked if they want to authorize a quarter cent sales tax that is being used for street repairs and maintenance. Early voting continues through May 2nd. On election day, the polls are open from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m. If you need more information, contact the city secretary's office. A game plan that calls for plenty of fun at Grand Prairie rocking again. It's the 
sixth annual Main Street Fest, where thousands of people descend on downtown Grand Prairie to ride rides, play games, there you go. and sample a little bit of everything. There you go. From authentic food to all kinds of eye candy. The city's farmer's market was also open for extended hours on Saturday, while three outdoor stages offer live entertainment from open to close each day, including on the main stage. Grammy-nominated Texas country music star Pat Green let off a weekend full of headline performances that began on Friday afternoon and continued through to Sunday evening. When four-time Grammy award-winning La Mafia played to a massive crowd. Officials say that the festival's reputation as a family-friendly event that offers free admission may be a reason why it continues to draw more and more popular performers to its big stage each year. One of the biggest challenges of this event and all event space is doing better and being greater than we were the year past. We've always tried to exceed our entertainment in each kind of form that you can, especially with the headlining entertainment on the evening hours. Um, but with every festival, we try to at least offer one more exciting thing or something new and exciting for everybody, especially with the live music. The three-day event drew an estimated 20,000 people this year. Two for Tenderwind. It's a new season of live racing at Lone Star Park in Grand Prairie. The track is celebrating its 20th anniversary of thoroughbred and quarter horse action. I won! I don't know what I won, but I won something. <laughs> For many fans, opening day is a tradition. We look forward to it every year and we love Lone Star. It's a festive place and a great place to hang out and watch the ponies run. It's just a lot of fun. What keeps bringing you back year after year on it? I just enjoy the horses and watching them run. And then there's Charles Jordan, who's here even though he lost his sight years ago. So, what's your, what's your favorite part of, uh, of hearing the races now? Me? Yeah. Well, I like to hear when I win, so everybody get to hollering about my numbers and then come in. <laughs> <laughs> Officials say since 1997, the track has hosted more than 19 million fans who've wagered more than $5.8 billion. But it now also depends on special entertainment, giveaways, and events to stay competitive with other entertainment venues. The whole sporting environment in the Metroplex has, has changed and gotten more competitive. But by the same token, there's nothing quite as thrilling as the thrill of a live horse race. There you go, six. Six. Come on, six. The 2017 thoroughbred season at Lone Star Park continues through July 30th. For more information, visit LoneStarPark.com. Grand Prairie residents can help the city win a $20,000 grant for a special needs playground. The National Recreation and Park Association will award the grant to the city that collects the most votes during the nationwide Meet Me at the Park contest. To vote, residents are asked to visit nrpa.org slash beinspired, nominate Grand Prairie, Texas, and then send it on to your network of friends. The contest runs through April 30th and you are allowed to vote daily. If the city wins, the grant will go to Playground Adventures, an all-access facility that is part of the massive Epic at Central Park project. The 20,000 will allow us to buy a couple of additional play units to provide play for one and all. We're in a nationwide contest with this particular facility, so we need everyone to participate, to connect to the, the website and provide your vote for Grand Prairie Parks in, in Texas. The city has committed $2 million and collected another $325,000 in private donations for the playground, which is scheduled to open next spring. Remember, you can help by voting daily at nrpa.org slash be inspired. That's it for this edition of Grand Prairie Update. Hope you can join us next time.